Look at this beautiful girl. She is a sunset spider. Probably orange dream or yellow belly. I'm leaning towards yellow belly now, although I thought orange dream at first because she's got some nice yellows coming through on the belly. I did have two other spider sunsets that I sold already, so I can't pull them out for the uh, comparison, but they were more of a brown rather, you know, rather than orangish yellows. So, yeah, she's beautiful. All right, so let me put her away. And I'm going to talk a little bit about business finance. Um, you may have been in the chat or watching uh, Adam from Proper Royals YouTube live today. <clears throat> and uh, I had mentioned in the chat using uh, business credit cards rather than your own personal credit. Um, the reason is uh, business credit cards do not report to the credit bureaus. So therefore, uh, it will not affect your score or your uh, debt to credit ratio. So uh, you do need to have uh, pretty decent credit to obtain this credit card. Um, and then there's many banks that will give them out. Chase is one of the best ones. I have a uh, PayPal business credit card, personally, <clears throat> and I will be trying to get maybe Chase or something else. Um, so my, my, uh, my business card gives me 2% cash back on all purchases. <clears throat> and I know that there are cards that do zero interest for 12 to 20 months. So those are the best case scenario. You get a card that does at least 12 months no interest. Um, maybe you spend $5,000, you know, whatever the case may be. Say you're in a situation where you need a rack right away, you know, you can buy that rack you have a whole year to pay it back with no interest. Um, the great thing is uh, your debt to credit ratio will not be affected on your personal credit. Um, so <clears throat> for instance if you have let's say you have you know $20,000 worth of credit that's lent to you um, now this is uh, available credit uh, between your, your multiple lines of credit. Let's say you have three credit cards in your wallet right now, and those credit cards allow you to spend up to $20,000. You don't want to do that. You want your debt to credit ratio to be low for you to keep good credit. So you never really want to spend uh, more than 10% of that. Now, there are some people that will say you're good up to 30%, but realistically, your score will start to go down once you go past 10%. Now, let's say you have that same $20,000 you know, in your personal, but now you get a $10,000 credit card for a business. Okay. If you were to run up $10,000 in credit on your personal, and you have 50% debt to credit ratio, now your score is going to tank and you're going to be affected by that and then you're not going to be able to get your next business credit card okay <clears throat> so the great thing about having a business credit card is you can you can use that to your advantage to scale your business okay well you got to be smart with this stuff because you do have to pay it back so if you have a year of no interest, you need to be able to pay that back within a year. The only other option, if you are not able to pay, let's say you run up $8,000 out of out of the 10, if your 
coming to a situation where you know you're not going to be able to pay it back within that year, then you go get another 0% interest rate uh, business card and transfer that balance to the new card. And then you extend your time. Okay. <clears throat> so, be smart out there. Use credit to your advantage. Never go into debt for your business. Okay. Uh, use a business credit card to keep your credit clean. Also, use a business credit card to keep your cash. Okay. It's good to have some cash in case the shit hits the fan. Alright? So, hope you guys all have a great season. Uh, if you need to know a little bit more about some of this stuff, you can message me on Instagram. Okay? Um, hope you guys are having a great season. Hope you guys are getting some cool locks. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, message me. Alright? Peace out, guys.